But the distinction I want to just offer there is between anger and fierceness. Right? Most of us, most humanity is, is wanting our fierceness, right? especially when it's coming from a place of love or it's coming from a place of wanting to serve and wanting to open and wanting to deepen. And yeah, so when we're able to kind of just transmute the anger through practice, through our practices into, or shapes, like a great way to transmute thing is, is something is to take a different shape or like let it like kind of flow into a different shape and all of a sudden a new transmission starts to come through us. And although it might feel a little performancy at, for the first few moments, mm -hmm. it locks in. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So even though when I say like, you know, let's you bring your sorceress, bring your magic through your fingers and through your body, it might feel a little clunky at first, yeah. but then that transmission, you're transmuting something into something else. Because energy, energy cannot be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anger cannot be destroyed. Anger cannot be alleviated, but it can change. I mean, this is true in physics, right? You cannot destroy energy. You can just transmute it into something else. It can transform into something else. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think what I'm hearing is that you were able to transmute your anger into fierceness, which can be received. He needs your fierceness.